Hi guys, QG64 here, and today we're talking about the Dune physical media release, which is just around the corner on May 14th. We'll be looking at all of the physical media options that are going to be available for this release. I'll also be sharing my thoughts on the art. We'll look at the current pricing so you are as informed as possible for this release. And I actually really like the first Dune movie. I picked it up here on 4K. I have seen part two, and I really liked part two. So it's really nice to do a video for a movie that I've seen and am excited to get. My main complaint for part two is that it needed an intermission. Let's bring back intermissions, guys. With movies this long, we need some intermissions. I'd love to share my thoughts on the movie on Dune part two uh, and its awesome soundtrack, but we're just here to talk about the physical media, so let's go ahead and jump into the video. So the first option we're going to look at is the DVD option for Dune Part 2, which they're asking $20. Uh, the good news is that this art is exclusive to the DVD. The bad news is that this is the art that you get. Not, not quite my tempo. Out of all the art you could pull from to do a cover art, uh, this is maybe the weakest. I don't know. I like the poses. Just It's very dull. It's a very dull looking uh, cover to me. But anyway, uh, we'll look at some of the other options, obviously, that are going to be available in this video. And I'll be looking at some other posters and sharing some other poster options I could have used uh, later on in this video. I always think more options are better for the customer. So I'm glad this is out there for those who don't have a Blu-ray player. But if ever there was a time to upgrade to uh, a Blu-ray uh, or a 4K, this is definitely the movie to do it. You want to watch this on the sharpest picture you can. It's just that kind of movie. The next option that's available is the Blu-ray option, the basic Blu-ray for $25 at Amazon and Walmart. And unfortunately, they are continuing to not pack the DVD with the Blu-ray. Uh, this is not dual packed. None of the basic options for this release are dual packed. I've complained about this since I they started this last year, Warner Brothers in particular, or, or the, the, <laughs> the, the main culprit behind this. Typically, when you buy a Blu-ray, you usually get the DVD with it, and the same goes for the 4K. If you buy the 4K, you get the Blu-ray with it, and sometimes they'll pack the DVD with it as well. So you get all the formats that are available when you're upgrading to the higher uh, priced options. However, Warner Brothers has entered cheap mode and uh, is continuing to sell just a single format. So this only just comes with the Blu-ray, no DVD for this one. And I might just have to do a separate video talking about this dual packing issue because I have multiple problems from this from my perspective as a customer, but I don't really want to derail the video talking about it. But I do want to say this is not dual packed. But let's get back to talking about Dune and the cover here. Uh, this cover isn't my favorite. Um, it's I think it's better than the DVD option. A lot of people refer to these types of posters that is also makes it onto cover art as well. They refer to these as head salad. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. More often than not, it, it kind of doesn't. Uh, when it's done incorrectly, it really gives a clip art feel to the actual image uh, as if a bunch of random pictures are just kind of thrown together. It just makes a very disjointed and gives that clip art feel, or at least that's what I call it, clip art. Um, and I don't really think it works. So here's a few things in particular uh, my critiques of, of this specific uh, box art here. First off, there's no focal point for your eye when you're looking at this. Uh, the main focal point I would say is probably the worm, but if you're just focusing on the top part of the cover art here, you just have all of the characters. Typically you want the main character as the focal point of your poster. You usually want him dead center and usually want him to be the largest. He's kind of off to the side. He's not any bigger than any of the other characters, and he's kind of in the back. So he just kind of blends in with like all of the characters that are kind of shoehorned into this thing. Uh, two, the characters here are all looking in different directions. It adds to the disjointed feel. It adds to that clip art feel. Why is Javier Bardem just looking off to the side? Why does he have a profile shot in this cover? It just looks very strange and disjointed. And also, why is this character on the cover here? This character in the center has a very minor part in the movie. Uh, I don't know why she's even on this cover. I don't know why she was on the poster. And not only that, but she's also dead center on the poster. Seriously, what we need to do here is take some of these characters out, a few of these characters, reposition them, really get some different layouts of these characters. And I definitely think that this is a salvageable uh, cover art, in my opinion. Uh, again, I think the bottom part of the, of the, the poster is fine. Uh, my main issue is really just with the insane character layout here at the top. These are just my critiques. I don't think this is a terrible option, uh, but I also don't think it's particularly that good either. Uh, 
Um, I'm going to, again, I'm going to compare this to some other options they could have went with shortly uh, in a section called Missing Later. That way you guys can decide what art you think is better, whether it's the one that they went with or the other option that I'm going to give you based on the posters that they've put out. Uh, but let's look at the 4K basic option as well. So the basic 4K option is $30 at Amazon and Walmart. Same art as the Blu-ray, and once again, it's not dual-packed. No Blu-ray included on this one, just the 4K. And to me, that's even worse than the Blu-ray not including the DVD. What's worse is a 4K not including the Blu-ray for multiple reasons. Uh, on the positive side, I like the <laughs> I like the gold at the top. I like the uh, the 4K logo being gold. Like typically, the 4K logos on the 4Ks are silver, and I like that they went with gold for this. I think that that really blends in well and looks really sharp. So that's a positive thing. There are special features here about an hour's worth. Now, typically on the 4K releases, you have the movie on the 4K disc, and then the special features are packed onto the Blu-ray disc with the Blu-ray version of the movie. And it's kind of crazy that they they cram this huge, very long movie onto this 4K disc and somehow managed to uh, put the special features onto the 4K disc as well. So um, yeah, it's kind of strange. You don't typically see that, especially with a movie this long but there's over an hour of bonus features so yeah they're cramming the three hour movie that's a lot to cram onto a 4k disc next option that's going to be available is the 4k steelbook which is 35 dollars unfortunately this is sold out at amazon and walmart i haven't seen it available for pre-order anywhere uh if somebody does find it uh comment and share that out there um this steelbook went up for pre-order like the week after the movie released um, even before the basic releases went up for. So it's not really, I guess it's not too surprising that the pre-orders sold out on this one. It is unfortunate that this one is sold out because obviously steelbook collectors, you know, want this. If you have the steelbook on the, for the first movie, you would want this to complete the, that set. Uh, of course, uh, with it being sold out at Amazon and Walmart, uh, it's not listed at Target. Best Buy doesn't sell physical media anymore, so Walmart appears to be the only option as far as you finding it out in the wild at a brick and mortar store. I'll be surprised if any of them actually make it out in the store since the pre-orders have been sold out for quite some time now, for weeks and another month before the release. So I'd be surprised if it actually makes it in the wild. And the Steelbook is the only uh, option that is dual packed as well, is the only option that's available that has the 4K with the Blu-ray. So the only way to do that is to get the Steelbook, which is unfortunately sold out. And honestly, I think that's a big contributing factor to why this might have sold out was uh, physical media collectors have noticed Warner Brothers not dual packing uh, their releases. So the fact that this is dual packed, I think, was an additional selling feature beyond the fact of just it's the Steelbook and collectors like the Steelbooks. As far as the art, uh, I mean, the minimalist approach, I, I like, you know, it's just a sandworm. It's pretty basic. Uh, Steelbooks, you can kind of get away with more minimalist design, I think. And uh, the sunset, I like the sad saturation on this uh, it's very vibrant uh, the orange looks a lot deeper than some of the other options that they have listed out there and I think it just works well because of the minimalist approach and the back side of the still book looks nice too with that nice bright orange it's basically the back image of the DVD poster uh, the DVD image that I showed earlier um, if you compare this to the first Dune uh, Steelbook, I think it's a good companion to the first Steelbook. I think that they would display very nicely together. I just wish the Steelbook was still available. I missed the pre-order for this one. I wanted to wait and see what was going to be uh, the image that they used for the basic releases and what the two-pack options were. Or any. I just wanted to make sure I had all the options available before uh, popping on the still book and by the time they actually released some of these other images and some of the other options and actually had that finalized all the, the still books were sold out weeks before that so yeah i just did i missed this one so you know it is what it is it's what it is there are some two pack options as well so let's look at those options first up is the dvd two pack for 25 dollars. i'm actually pretty surprised that they're doing uh, a two pack dvd for this one if you planned on getting dune 2 on dvd this two pack is only five dollars more than just getting the dune 2 on uh, dvd so and the art's a lot better than the dvd art so this might be a good option for you if you're if you're still in the dvd mode the blu-ray two pack is 35 Five dollars same art here this is also the same art that was used for the first dune steel book that i showed just a few minutes ago uh minimalist design i actually really like it i think this was a good uh image to go with for the two pack so i'm pretty happy with it my main complaint for dune part one was that it felt like a movie with a very abrupt ending dune part one just felt like it was half the story just cut off in the middle of it so i think dune part two really did 
finish that story and having both parts together actually feels like a complete story feels like a complete movie even if that movie is like you know you know six hours long <laughs> In short, having this two-pack option feels like a whole story instead of half a one. And then we also got the two-pack 4K uh, option, which is $55 at Amazon and at Walmart. However, Groove has it for $45. They're the cheapest option, and it is still up for pre-order. Again, same art as the other two packs at $55. I think it's a little too high. You're only getting the 4K. There's no Blu-ray disc here. So again, it's not dual-packed. $55, that's just too high a price. $45 is more in the range that I think is more reasonable uh, because basically you're paying $30 for the basic release and then $15 for Dune Part 1. Um, now, I picked up the first Dune uh, 4K on sale. It was $10 on Black Friday. So, you know, it, it, I think right now the it's going for like 20 bucks. I think you get it for about $20. So essentially you can buy the, uh, them individually for cheaper than this two two film option. And at least if you buy Dune part one, uh, the individual, it actually comes with a Blu-ray. So, you know, you're almost better off going for the individual releases as opposed to this two packages based on the price. I think what a selling point would probably be um, the art if that's what you're looking forward to. I think that if they actually use this art, they actually had a nice box for it. I think that would justify the, you know, a little bit extra you're paying. As far as I can tell, this is just a standard slip, so there's nothing too crazy here. Uh, if you look at the back, the set doesn't have the special features for Doom Part 1 listed. If you buy this, you're not gonna get the special features for Doom Part 1 that were included on the individual set. So not only are you paying more, but you're actually getting less because the bonus features for part one aren't included on here, at least according to the image that they've put out here. So that's kind of disappointing. My disappointment is immeasurable. So let's look at some of the other options that they could have went for for the cover art. Here's another poster that they could have went with that I think they probably should have went with, uh, to be honest. Um, I think this would be a better option for the basic sets. If you compare the two, which uses many of the same character images, but lays them out completely different, uh, it gives them different character sizes. It centers Paul where he's, where he's supposed to be in the center and having the orange on one side and then the black and white on the other side. This just pops a lot more to me. I think this is a lot better than the other option. But what do you guys think? As always, comment and let me know which one do you think is the better option. Also, what do you think about this option for a uh, another steelbook? If there were two steelbook options, right uh is this one better than the the still book that they went with i don't know i actually like this one i like the deep orange on it i like the characters being like on it i i think that if you added some debossing or embossing to like what they did with the oppenheimer still book last year i think that would really pop and look really sharp you know orange worked really well for oppenheimer last year and i think it continues to work really well here for dune so <laughs> Let's keep up with the orange. Apparently that somehow signifies good films. I don't know. Now, the other thing that is missing, and I have to mention, is the fact that this release will not have the IMAX format that the that was used during the theatrical release. I've seen a lot of chatter about this online. People upset about it. Uh, some people, you know, didn't really care, but it, there are, there's a vocal amount of people who are upset about this. So if you were looking forward to seeing the a variable IMAX format for this release, Unfortunately, that's not here. They've come out and said that. The specs on the back of the box uh, confirm that. I personally don't have a strong feeling one way or the other on this one, but I certainly understand the frustration anytime there's deviation from the theatrical to the home release. Uh, but I do want to throw that out there for anybody who is looking for that. So let's go ahead and recap the options that are available. First up, you've got the DVD option for $20. Then you have the DVD two pack for $25. The Blu-ray only for $25 the 4K only for $30. Then you've got the 4K Steelbook, which is packed to the Blu-ray for $35. Sold out on Amazon and Walmart, unfortunately. The Blu-ray two pack for $35. And then the 4K two pack for $55. Groove has it for $45. But what do you guys think about this one? Have you seen Dune part two? What did you think about it? And which version are you going to pick up from this release? I'm more than likely you might've already pre-ordered something. Maybe you haven't, maybe you were holding out like I was, but uh, are you gonna continue to hold out? You're not gonna pick up anything and you're gonna wait for the uh, super mega, super duper Dune uh, collection 
edition that's going to come out inevitably. Uh, comment and let me know. If you like this video, we talk a lot about physical media here on the channel, so please consider subscribing. Uh, I wanna thank everybody for checking out this video. Thank you subscribers, all of you are awesome. And if you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff or don't. I'm not a beggar. I'm Geechoo64 and I'll always tell you the truth.